opening bag, that one's going to lean in. No, no, here. That area, you have to let it. That area, you really have to put it, put it back in the bag. Okay, I need to explain back. the rules. Everybody in the car is on me. All right. Baggy, one item at a time, okay? You take one shape out of the bag at a time. No ripping the shape, no throwing, one at a time. There you go. You're going to need that paper later, so why don't you leave it fine? You need to take one shape out and leave everything else in the back. Now, okay, I want you, first of all, I want you to take out the yellow one, only the yellow one, okay? You can share with your partner or work with your partner. And right here on the paper, on the back side of this, we have lines. Now, these are even lines. What are we going to call these? What are we going to use these as? Square units. Square units. Okay, there's a bunch of squares, right? And if you put your yellow shape, if you put your yellow shape over these square units, then you'll find that the shape will occupy a certain area on top of the graph paper. Do you see that? Okay. Now let's let's think back to the definition. The definition of area we just we just made. We said that area is the number of square units that fill the inside of the shape. Okay? Now, in your groups, I want you to count how many of these squares are inside of this yellow shape. Okay, can you guys do that? You might have to lift it up and see that okay, the, the square right there, the square right there, the square right there. But I want you to count how many. Okay? Take two minutes and do that with your partner. Okay? Square units did you find inside of this yellow rectangle? Oh, nine, nine. 
How many? 29. Well, this group had, what, what number did you actually get? You got 29. I saw how many you got. <laughs> 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 this group, this group, how many? 26. 26, okay. How did you get 26? Okay, okay. Do you, do you know that that's exactly one square unit more? No. Mr. Harsh said that it's an estimate. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do, I would like you guys to find out how, how many units each side is. Okay, can you do that? We're going to call this the width. Okay, so this is how wide it is. How many units here? Just count. Count with me, guys. Okay? Attention, right? Attention up here, please. Count with me, okay? We have one, two, three, four, and five. Five units on the top. So we'll say that the width is five. Now let's count how tall it is, okay? We lost one. We did. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Let's count how tall it is, okay? Now I need all of you to count with me, okay? So I'm running after her, so okay. One, two, three, four, four five. five. Okay? Good. Now next time. Well, why don't we try that again, okay? Now, I want everybody to count with me. Lori? Okay? okay. Everybody, okay? Even Mr. Yu. Yes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five units high. And how many units is it? How many square units are inside? I heard somebody say 25. Okay, so if the area, if we found the area is 25, would it make sense that the area equals how tall it is times how wide it is? Do you guys, okay, what is 5 times 5? 25. 25, okay. Do you see any connection between these these numbers and the area, area you discovered? It's the same, okay. Now, do you know it's always going to be the same? You're not sure. What? Okay, I want you to put the yellow square back into the bag, 